Just a few weeks ago Sonic the Hedgehog started a shitstorm wave in the trailer because of his human appearance. The outrage was so great that they decided to change the appearance of the protagonist Sonic. Now Paramount announced how long the release date will be delayed, namely by 3 months. The reason is obvious. The CGI and 3D artists need a lot more time in post-production to completely rework the main character. Director Jeff Fowler wrote on Twitter, We are taking the time to make the Sonic movie right. The story revolves around the alien being Sonic, known to many from comics and video games of the same name, who is on the run from Dr. Eggman, played by Jim Carrey. Sonic's new release date is now February 14, 2020. A few days ago the shooting of Black Widow started in Norway. But now the first news from the set has been leaked, questioning the assumption that Black Widow will be set as a prequel. Some fans even think that the Black Widow solo movie could play during Avengers Endgame. The reason for this are shots from the set in a small village in Norway, where Scarlett Johansson wears the same hairstyle as in Avengers Endgame, long red hair with blonde tips. In addition, the location Norway also speaks for the fact that the solo film plays parallel to Endgame. Sure, these could be clues, however, they are not really valid. Nevertheless, you can assume that in the future Marvel movies you'll get to know the skipped years in Endgame even better. We are rather of the opinion that Black Widow will play during Endgame at times, but that the focus will be on the background story of Natasha Romanoff as a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. Black Widow will probably be shown in cinemas in the middle of next year. It recently became known that cult director Steven Spielberg is currently planning another film adventure for the Indiana Jones series. So far so good. However, Spielberg doesn't want Harrison Ford as the main character anymore, but a new face. This doesn't seem to have pleased Ford so much, as shortly afterwards he said in an interview with the US channel NBC, Nobody will be Indiana Jones, don't you understand? I am Indiana Jones. When I'm not around anymore, he's gone. It's that simple. His possible successors as a whip-swigging archaeologist are Chris Pine or Chris Pratt. Will Lucasfilm and Steven Spielberg listen to Harrison Ford? That's quite questionable, since both have great interest in continuing the cult series, probably even without a 78-year-old Ford. But to be sure, we have to be patient for a while, because neither Spielberg nor LucasArts said anything about Ford's statements yet. This summer, the production of Martin Scorsese's and Leonardo DiCaprio's movie Killers of the Flower Moon, which had been planned for a long time, was supposed to start, but that won't happen for now. The reason for this is the post-production of Scorsese's mega-project The Irishman, which will be released on Netflix at the end of the year. The mafia thriller with Robert De Niro, Al Pacino and Joe Pesci shows several time levels in which the actors are digitally made younger with a very elaborate method. This is so time-consuming that Scorsese has no time this summer to produce Killers of the Flower Moon, which is supposed to be about the beginning time of the FBI and contains DiCaprio as main actor. In the meantime, other productions of the two will be released, like Scorsese's Rolling Thunder review, a Bob Dylan story on Netflix on June 12. DiCaprio will be featured in Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood in the States on the 26th of July. Warner has been developing an Akira film based on the anime model for several years now. The film giant has already secured the rights in 2009. Now there are news regarding the release date as well as the director. The director's position was filled with Taika Waititi and that's not too much of a surprise, as he already outed himself in an interview a year ago as a big fan of the series and at the same time made it clear that he doesn't want to produce a remake of the 80s anime film. Instead, he wants to stick strictly to the manga original and commit mainly Asian and not so well known actors for his cast. In the focus of the story is a young motorcycle gang, which is involved in all kinds of conflicts. Alongside other groups, they are competing in a tough race for the mysterious Akira, who lies in a laboratory and whose awakening is supposed to conjure up the apocalypse. Until this story is made into a film, YTT has other projects, especially his war satire Jojo Rabbit, which will be shown in cinemas in autumn. After that, the production will be started quickly, after all Akira will be released in the cinemas in May 2021. The tenth season of The Walking Dead is currently being filmed, however without the former lead actor Andrew Lincoln. That he hasn't completely disappeared from The Walking Dead universe was somehow clear, but we didn't know when and how. On Twitter there was a promising answer from Skybound, namely that an update will be released earlier than expected. So the three announced Rick Ram spin-offs weren't forgotten and you'll probably get new updates soon.